Hey boys and girls, it's time for us to take out this bow right here. And so today uh, we'll be working on the bow only, okay? If you do not know how to open this case, then please watch that other video on case opening, that will be helpful. So the bow, if I try to take this out, ay ay ay, it's stuck, I can't do it. And that is a very good thing, because if you look closely, you will notice that there is a little plastic tab right about there and uh, that's keeping the bow in place and uh, also the bow is going into this space in here uh, this hole down there that looks like a bow cave if you will so down in there and so we have to understand that the bow has to come out of those of those two places and so the first thing you do is go down here find the bow lock and then move it just click it over and you hear a clicking sound and so there you go. Now my bow can actually get out from there. So I'm going to grab the bow by the frog, which is this area down here. This is the frog. So I'm picking up my bow by the frog, carefully, oh ever so carefully, pulling it out. And oh ever so carefully, sliding it out. Okay? So I hope you noticed there were two steps to that. Let me put it back in pulling it out, sliding it out, okay? And if you have trouble, you ask your teacher. Uh, your teacher can help you so that your bow doesn't break because see, look how thin, look how thin this piece of stick is. It's so thin and you know, because it's so thin, it is fragile. And if you are forceful with your bow, it will break. And so you want to always be careful with the stick that it doesn't break. Taking it out, putting it back in, always be safe. Now your bow has hair right here. This hair comes from horses. It is, uh, comes from the horse's tails. It also comes from the horse's manes. And so that horse hair um, is the hair that is found on all violins and you do not want to touch it. So whatever you do, do not, do not ever, ever touch the hair because our hands sometimes have a little bit of dirt and oils and you know you're you go through the playground you go to the cafeteria you eat food and so our hands can get dirty with with playing outside with eating and so we don't want to put any of that dirt on the bow hair so always remember that whatever you do with your bow do not touch the hair so if you notice the way I'm holding it right down here I am holding it by the frog. See, I'm holding it safely by the frog. And so as I'm handling my bow right now, I'm holding it by the frog. I am not touching the hair. And once you are ready in your violin class to learn the different bow holds and to start practicing with your bow and to create your nice bow hand, um, then you can do all of that safely without touching the hair on your bow. And of course, to learn to hold a bow, there are some steps that you're going to go through. So make sure that you're practicing on a pencil or practicing on a bow stick to develop your bow hold. And that's important so that when you actually hold a real live bow right here, you are doing it like a pro, okay? Once we are done with the bow, we have to put it away. And so notice that the hair is going to point down, not up down point the hair down then we're gonna do the same steps but in reverse okay friends in reverse first place the bow tip this little end right here inside that hole inside that bow cave okay and secondly place the bow locking mechanism right in between right in between the hair and the stick and then you have to hit the bow lock and it makes that clicking sound so listen and so now my bow has safely been taken out safely been put back in place and i can now you know close my case okay thanks for watching